Who's that handsome boy? You say hello? Are you gonna smile? Hello YouTube, long time no talk. I know I have not made a video in forever and I'm not gonna sit here and give you a bunch of excuses, although I bet I could ramble off a hundred of them. Um, we'll just say life, uh, life got busy. Um, Kate here keeps us on our toes and I'm sorry, but we are jumping right back into things. Mr. Kate here is going to be four months old in four days, three days, three days. That's insane. Where has the time gone? This has seriously been the fastest four months of my entire life. Yours too, buddy? Yours too? I tried to make this video like two weekends ago or something and it was just a complete fail because he was super fussy um, and it just, just didn't happen. I need to shut the door. Bobby, oh, come on, come on, come on. Cade, Cade, Cade. Hey, Cade. Hey, Cade. He's already ignoring his mom. Crazy busy with me jumping back full time into work. And then, of course, the holidays, our first little Christmas with this spit up monster. So. <laughs> this update is probably going to just be all over the board, but I'm just going to kind of chat with you guys and tell you what comes to my mind. I do have a couple of things written down, um, kind of going back in time here to three months old. Um, well, at, let's see, 11 weeks old, so just shy of three months here. Cade was 13 pounds and five ounces, and he actually rolled over from his back to his belly at 13 weeks and six days, so just shy of 14 weeks old. Um, he has only done it that one time, though. He is 17 weeks old today. Um, almost four months. It's kind of weird how the weeks don't line up with the months. Um, but he has only done it that one time. I don't know if it was a fluke or what. And I actually did not witness it. <laughs> um, Teddy was sitting on the floor with him. And um, so at least he got to see it. Um, but he still does consistently roll over from his belly to his back. Um, something is really interesting on the floor down there, I guess. Are you going to look up? Are you going to be able to show your face? Huh? Okay. Sure. Oh. Um, at 14 weeks and one day, he was 14 pounds and one ounce. And that was actually the last time he has been weighed here. Uh, so just over 14 pounds. He has his four-month appointment coming up at the end of this month, end of January here. So we will have to see how much he weighs then. As far as other development, he seems to be right on track for everything. Um, small motor skills, he's able to grab onto some toys and like put them in his mouth, which is fun. Um, he grabs the toys that are above him on his play mat, which he loves to do. Um, he'll grab your shirt, hold on to like your hand or your finger. Um, he chats all the time. He tells some pretty good stories. Um, he sits up in his bumbo seat now, obviously with us right next to him. Um, he still kind of like starts to lean to the side or like lean forward, um, but he really likes that. What else, buddy? We did just set up the jumper, the jumper room last night. We put him in it. Um, his feet do touch the floor on like the lowest setting, um, but obviously the opening is still way too big for him. He kind of is all over the place. So we would put like a pillow or a stuffed animal in there. Um, but I don't think we're gonna like consistently use it quite yet. It was just kind of fun to set him in there and see what he would do. Yes, did you like it? Um, but he's still a little bit floppy. Um, overall, he's got really good head, head control. It's just, you know, he'll like give himself some whiplash occasionally <laughs> or um, headbutt you, which is always fun. As far as sleep goes, this little guy is still kind of all over the board. Um, Starting with naps during the day, he typically will take one good nap, you know, a two to three hour nap, sometime 
early afternoon. Um, but then otherwise he'll just take little power naps, little cat naps, 20, 30 minute naps, tops. He's usually napping in his swing or um, like a bouncy seat. Sleeping at night though is what's kind of all over the place here. Um, when he was like two and three months old, he was sleeping great. He was going down starting about 7.30, like fully asleep, you know, by 8, 8.30 at the latest. And then he would only wake up once and that would be at about 2 or 3 a.m. He would eat pretty quickly, you know, kind of half asleep eating, uh, eat a lot and then go right back to sleep until 6, 7 a.m. Um, obviously getting up for work. I work at 7.30, so I've got to get him up by, you know, no later than 6.30 to get him fed and everything and out the door. Um, but lately, <laughs> here it is, a third month, so the past couple of weeks, <sighs> I don't know if we're starting this like four month sleep regression early or what, but he is waking up between like three and five times in the middle of the night. Um, you know, he'll be up at 11 and then 1 and 3 and 4 and 6 and he'll want to eat every time. So, you know, I'll feed him. I've been trying just to like give him his pacifier and getting him back to sleep that way. Um, but, you know, it's so easy just to feed him and knock him out real quick. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're kind of working on that. But then occasionally, um, you know, a night will be awesome and he'll wake up that one time and, and be fine. So... We're kind of all over the board, still kind of learning that. He is still sleeping in the pack and play next to our bed, um, that little top insert part, but he's quickly outgrowing that. So we are gonna have to figure out what to do then. I don't know if he's, I don't know if I'm ready to have him in his own room yet. Um, I don't know, we could bring the crib into our bedroom, but I don't know, we will see. He is officially all in six month clothing. There are some three to six month clothes that do still fit him. Um, but just yesterday I packed away all of his zero to three month clothes. Those don't fit him anymore, obviously. Um, so yeah, mostly six month stuff. And we, this kid has more clothes than I do, I swear. He, could, like, there were some, a lot of the zero to three month clothes that he didn't even get a chance to wear. Like, some of them still had tags on them, and I had to pack them away. Um, but, yeah, we're obviously going to hold on to those. Maybe the next one will be a boy, too. Huh? Um, yeah, nursing is still going pretty well. Um, he does have some random days or, like, times within the day where he just is not interested at all. Um, you know, he'll latch on and start to nurse and then just like pull off screaming and we'll do that for like 10 or 15 minutes till we're both just pretty yeah. frustrated. And um, typically, I don't know if he's just like really tired those days because then he'll like, you know, conk out and sleep for a while and then wake up hungry. So I don't really know. We're still kind of figuring everything out, but he is exclusively breastfed. Um, he's gaining weight, plenty of wet diapers. So I guess I won't worry too much about it. Um, so I, you know, I said he has plenty of wet diapers. However, pooping is a different story with this little man. Um, he does not poop very often, although lately it's picking up. So let me kind of backtrack here. It was, he was like two months and something. It was, it was a while ago where he went from pooping multiple times a day you know, typical newborn, like every feeding he would poop, to not pooping for 11 straight days. Um, I called his pediatrician and she said just because of his age, you know, um, let's just, let's just see him. We'll make sure there's no like bowel obstruction or anything. And um, so I brought him in and I checked him out and he was fine. Like, he, and he was still farting up a storm. So we knew that there was nothing, um, too locked up in there. Are you gonna get fussy now? You want your nook? Um, but her suggestion was to put some molasses into a bottle. So we did, I think, a teaspoon of molasses into his bottle. It was like a three ounce bottle or something. And within two bottles, two days, because we did one a day, um, he pooped. The next stretch after that poop was like seven days. We did the molasses again, then six days, and then seven days, and then nine days, and he went like a good two months with only pooping 
you know, maybe once a week or a little more than once a week. Um, but the thing is, he was never, like, unhappy about it. He was never uncomfortable. And I know they say breastfed babies can go up to two weeks without pooping. However, his chiropractor, which I'll touch on that in a second, his chiropractor was like, eh, that's not really normal. Like, they should be pooping a little bit more. And after the 11-day stretch, his pediatrician was a little bit, bit concerned as well. Um, but now, recently, the past two weeks maybe, he has pooped like twice a day and then once a day and then maybe skipping a day and then twice and then so I think we're back on a good schedule. He has pooped twice a day so far and it's only two o'clock so I'll take that. Um, but yeah he's just been kind of all over the board. We did start him on a probiotic um, so maybe that has been kind of helping. Um, and then his chiropractor like I mentioned he was going to the chiropractor after his tongue tie release, which, oh, um, I think I'll make another video all about his tongue tie and the process we kind of went to release it and everything. Um, so we did go to a chiropractor after we got that released and um, she did some craniosacral therapy um, and some adjustments and everything and it seemed to be helping. We probably went probably a good like three or four weeks. We haven't been in um, like two or three weeks here and I don't know if we'll return. Um, but yeah, there's the update with that. Uh, what else am I missing? He is a spitter, you guys. He spits up a lot. Um, you know, more than the average baby, I would say. But he is like a happy spitter. He's never bothered by it. He just spits up and continues playing and he's good. So you'll see he's probably always wearing a bib. We've always got tons of burp claws around um, and I'm hoping he outgrows it soon. Yeah. What else about you Cade? He's losing all of his hair. You can probably tell he's got his, his uh, thick little mullet back here still but he's losing all of his hair. I'll put in a picture here of when he was a newborn. Um, and you can see how much hair he's actually lost. It's kind of funny, but hopefully I don't start growing back here soon. Um, I think that's about it, you guys. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or if I missed something. And I'm going to try my hardest to get more videos out regularly. I want to do a cloth diapering update because we're still cloth diapering and we love it. Um, I'm going to do a video all about his tongue tie and that release. Um, and then I want to kind of touch on me postpartum as well. Almost four months postpartum, that's insane. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm saying um a lot and I have nothing else to say. So I'm going to wrap up this video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye everybody. Mwah. Hi. Hi. Can you keep little kisses? Go. Mwah. <laughs> Bye, guys.